so today we are going to discuss about how to uh, sonicate cnt so this is the required amount of cnt taken that is 0.1 percent of uh, the epoxy resin and now we are going to stir it uh, with the solvent uh, for the solvent we are using acetone uh, so first uh, to take acetone of 100 ml you can see here acetone so just acetone of 100 ml in conical flask you can take approximately 100 ml you need to take all will be evaporated um, afterwards I will tell you the steps how to proceed okay so this is around 100 ml of acetone taken this is a magnetic stirrer so we can stir it for, to remove the agglomerations then we need to add the CNT to it ok now this is the bit we to ok this is added now you can see uh, I have this is the temperature set temperature is 15 so this the stirrer doesn't cool it so 15 will keep uh, the temperature as room temperature select it then we need to give rpm of around 400 rpm i will give select it so the process has started now you can see it's tiring it is increasing uh, the rpm is increasing temperature is 24 fine 24.6 where this will vary as room temperature we can close it like this okay after that uh, this is this process continues for uh, 30 minutes mm. then we will go for sonication so after 30 minutes uh, you can see here the rpm has reached 400 and uh, the temperature is at room temperature so after 30 minutes um, we will uh, stop the process, one minute is already left. Yeah. Yeah, go. Yeah. Ah. Okay, the process stops now. Atomic? Force microscope. No. Okay, the process is stopped now. So, uh, 63 uh, grams of epoxy um, taken in another conical flask. Okay, so, this will be again styled for to re reduce the viscosity. Okay, now the epoxy is, uh, has to be, the epoxy has to be styled. So, this is again the styrer. Okay, this is added. And then again uh, this has to be styled with a uh, temperature of 120 degrees centigrade and 400 rpm so we will set the temperature to 120 degree so click now rpm has to be set to again 400 and the process start so now to Keep the uh, soli sol sol solution temperature to 120. We need to put the probe into the solution. Okay, so the solution is so you can see temperature is also increasing and RPM will increase. So 
Okay, the temperature is increasing. The revolution will start. So uh, you can see the, this uh, RPM will increase uh, in a while. Uh, we need to um, do this process for 30 minutes, uh, or the till till the uh, RPM of the magnetic bead um, reaches to 400 RPM. Slowly the RPM is increasing. You can see. So this process continues till 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, now you can see the temperature is already reached 71 and still increasing up to 120 rpm is 400 uh, so now uh, while this process goes on we need to start the uh, sonication process you can see here um, this this is the acetone and cnt uh, mixture that we started before for 30 minutes so, um, so now this will be sonicated at room temperature and um, for 30 minutes so you can see here uh, you can increase the time up to 30 minute see 30 minutes time has started we don't we don't need to do anything with the uh, temperature so when after this happens uh, let's wait till the temperature reaches to 120 okay so after that we will go for um, sonication it's already reached 93 and you can see here Okay, let us start. Uh, already one four, we can start the sonication process. Uh, we need to start it. There will be.
now let's stop this also okay now this has been stopped you have to wait in this full this will be very hot so let's take this wait it it's coming 197.5 so after this let's keep it here again now we need to add this sonic rated uh, sonic rated cnt to the epoxy So this is the CNT sonicated. This needs to be added to the epoxy. Let's use this final. This is the mixture of epoxy and CNT. Now this will be again stirred. Um, let's put the probe into it. So the temperature will be again 120 degree centigrade. So 120 degree centigrade and 7 uh, 400 400 rpm. So now rpm will be 400 rpm. Now the process has started. We need to stir it for 30 minutes again with this procedure. So you can see temperature is increasing and the RPM is 400. You can see here also the mixing process is going on. RPM temperature will temperature will rise to 120 degrees centigrade. See, it is increasing. So, uh, the weight of the epoxy, uh, the flask, and the bead that we weighed was what was it? 197.5. So, till the weight of this solution, this solution along with the flask and the bead becomes 197.5, we need to stir it. 
see the um, acetone is vaporizing you can see here. so uh, we'll check after some time it might take more than one hour so let's wait so after mixing uh, the cnt the rpm must be 700 so during this process also you can change it up to 700 okay temperature is 54.4 increasing rpm is 700, 700. Decitone uh, as evaporating. Uh, there is more spilling, that's why I have kept it, otherwise, this is not required. Okay, so 700 rpm and 100 degrees centigrade. process is uh, completed uh, it was carried out for one hour after this we need to add hardener to prepare the adhesive and you can use that adhesive joint uh, for my purpose I am using to make adhesive joints in composite plates so here it ends thank you